in the central nervous system, we basically have the brain and the spinal cord. Now, the brain comprises of the cerebral hemispheres, the diencephalon, the brain stem, and the cerebellum. The central nervous system can be thought of as the epicenter of this electrical machine, sending out signals from the tip of our toes to the top of the skin or the scalp on our head. The nervous system contains a lot of specialized cells which are known as the nerve cell or the neuron. As we have seen in the previous video, the nerve cell or the neuron is a structural and functional unit of the central nervous system or any nervous system for that matter. The spinal cord starts off as the brain stem or the terminal part of the brain stem that is the medulla oblongata. This medulla oblongata continues within the vertebral column as the uh, spinal cord. Okay, the brain stem is the uh, part of the brain which is just above the, that is the brain stem you can think of you know you have this you have the cerebral hemispheres then you have the midbrain now this midbrain pawns and then it continues as the medulla so the midbrain pawns and medulla together form the brain stem and they are located posteriorly 